Imagine this, every person on Earth grabs a laser pointer and aims it at the moon. Seven billion tiny red dots all shining together. Would the moon glow bright red or would absolutely nothing happen? A regular laser pointer, the kind you use to annoy your cat, shines with about five milliwatts of power. That's not much. You'd need around 200 of them just to power a light bulb. But hey, what if everyone on Earth teamed up? That's billions of lasers. Surely that must do something, right? So here's what happens. Each beam leaves your laser, travels through the air, then through space, all the way to the moon, about 384,000 thousand kilometers away. But there's a problem. Light spreads out. By the time your laser beam reaches the moon, it's no longer a tight red dot. It's a huge, dim circle of light. Even if all 7 billion lasers were perfectly aimed, which, let's be honest, is already impossible because half of us can't even hit the trash can, the combined brightness would still be weaker than a single flashlight seen from a few miles away. Which, let's be honest, is already impossible because half of us can't even hit the trash can. In fact, even the most powerful lasers on Earth, like the ones used in giant physics experiments, barely leave a mark you can detect with special telescopes. So, 7 billion pocket lasers wouldn't light up the moon. They'd just make the world's largest, most disappointing laser part. So, no, the moon wouldn't glow red. It wouldn't heat up. It wouldn't even notice. But if everyone on Earth actually did point lasers at the same time, the real challenge wouldn't be physics. It would be people agreeing on which direction up is. So, next time you shine your laser at the wall, remember, the moon's safe from us. For now, if you enjoyed this little what if, hit that like button, drop your wildest science question in the comments, and subscribe for more fun physics thoughts experiments.